Hey, hey everybody. Hey guys. Welcome to YCD All Things. Who's this guy? This is a, a very old friend of mine. What, he's, You're not very old. Sorry. <laughs> he, he, is, he is a friend that I've known for a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Is already uh, insulting you. Are you going to take right. that? This, right. this, this is, might have to, might have to fix him up. This is Scott. Uh, he is one of the trainers here at Jimmo. Yes. Yeah. Today, we're going to barely even try to scratch the surface uh -huh. on some jujitsu. Yep. We're gonna, no, it's not, it's like not that, quite but, that. What? Oh, man. <laughs> we, we, will, we will learn a new respect for jujitsu and what it takes. I just want to know what to do with my ninja hands with when I get oh, You already know what to do with your ninja mm -hmm. hands. Have we decided what exactly we're going to learn? Yeah. We are going to learn your naked choke. Okay. We're going to learn how to side mount someone and mount them. It's a good technique from the top okay. uh, to secure someone on the bottom. So if we're trying to you know, secure someone and keep them from moving um, and sort of secure a position mm -hmm. on someone, those are two really good techniques to Cool. Okie dokie, baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. Scott, are you ready? I am. Let's learn some jujitsu. You don't need to be ready. It's fine. Jeremy, are you ready? Juju. I'm ready. All right. Let's get to it. The lighting here is really good. I really like it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Can you see the gorilla? Baby, we're official. We're official. Ready? How do I look? Um, awesome. Wise. Why? I look, oh, I look wise as the beard. Actually, you look like you're getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> Night, guys. We're going to be belted. Okay. All right. I'm just going to jump all night unless we do something. So this is a lot of fun. So I figured what we would do is we'll learn the positions first. Wait for him to submit someone. Not only just submit someone, but we're gonna work on the side control position. Side control is a great position for me on top uh, because I can apply some good pressure from the top. Uh, she, he or she couldn't really attack from the bottom. In this position, I've sort of got the superior, the, the superior position uh, in this scenario. So a good side control position, um, I wanna make sure I have my knees as close to her as I can, but not just close to her, but actually spread out a little bit so that I'm able to drop my weight down a little bit. So. My right knee, I want to try to keep up against her hip on this side. My left knee, I want to try to keep under this arm all the way up against the shoulder on this side. So I'm going to use my left hand to come under the head on this side. Now you can see right here, I'm already starting to drop my weight by spreading my knees out a little bit. Almost like I'm trying to get my bottom to touch the ground. My right hand is going to come under this arm. This is what we would call an underhook with this arm from the top position. Now I can lock my hands if I want to. I'm going to use my left shoulder to apply a little bit of pressure into her jaw and I'm gonna to try to make her look the opposite direction. The more I can make her look the opposite direction, the more it's, the more difficult it's gonna be for her to turn into me or, or try to better her own position. So now, once I get this position, I can drop my head, drop my weight, and apply a little bit of pressure. And secure a nice, solid side control position. Baby, could you move? No, not uh, well, other than flailing around. <laughs> I'm gonna get Jeremy. All right. Switch. Now that's a good solid I side control know. position. <laughs> Jeremy, can you move, Jeremy? You I'm sure. <laughs> I'm an expert now. What class is I get? Snuggle. <laughs> can you wiggle? Well, <laughs> those legs. <laughs> oh, he's already trying. I like it. Is this a thing? Is this yeah. A thing? I like it. Squeeze your and then to a punch. Punch. <laughs> yeah. I like it. You're already going to the mount, which is good. <laughs> You're ahead of your own game. You didn't even know. Ahead of my own game. All right. Okay. Well, one one thing we definitely can do from here is uh, that we can actually get to a, a fully mounted position. So from this side control position, now we're gonna go to a mounted position but and jeremy actually attempted it before <laughs> um before we started this part from this side control position um there are a couple of ways to mount from this side control position but for me the most effective way and a very basic way to do this is for me to just take my hand put it on this side of his head <laughs> now i'm going to try to tuck my elbow into my own knee 
so that he can't move his head, his head or his arm. Now, in this position, I'm gonna drop my weight onto my opposite hip with my knee butted right up against his hip. Now I've got sort of an opening here where I can start mounting. So I'm gonna take my hand, put it on just the outside of Jeremy's knee, pull it to me and use my own hand or my own foot to hook Jeremy's leg and pull myself on top to a mountain position. You know we beat him. <laughs> <laughs> your turn, babe. I really like your blue shirt. Sorry, it's a gi. It's not a shirt. I was about to say, uh, uh, I don't have a blue shirt. Yeah, you can take that off and leave it the off. Belt just off. Yeah, you can, can leave it off. Can I get the jacket off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the gi. That's so cool. The jacket. Yeah. It's not a jacket, Jeremy. It's okay. All right. So, this arm, I like when Scott comes up, he's like, so, that's kind of... Side control. So, arm fit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, under this hand, under this arm. He's so creative. Okay, under here, we got the lock. Right? Drop your weight a little bit. Yes. Okay, so now we can like do, 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 do this. So, with this one, remove this, Yep. right? This kind of stays here for now. Yep. But I want to put my elbow to my knee. Yep. Basically. Okay. Yep. This one comes out. There you go. How's that? Okay. <laughs> so I want to push. Nope. nope. So next step here is you want to drop down to your left hip like you're doing a baseball slide. Oh, that's right. Yep. So all the way like, like this? Yes. Okay. Now that now bottom knee, make sure that bottom knee is bumped right up against her gotcha. hip. Yeah. So push. Yep. And then use this. As a lever to pull yourself on top. Now look at there. Hey babe, how do I do? Yeah. Do you feel mounted? <laughs> <laughs> You've been sufficiently. <laughs> okay, you wanna try it on me? Okay. Oh, did you hear that? That was my knee. Mine did it too. Oh, a knee pop never hurt anybody. Oh no, mine pop all day. You're actually naturals at this. You know that Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> that, was that was your knee? Yeah. Okay. Popcorn. Like it. I like it. Then we patty cake? Then you patty cake and then you choke them. Oh no, I didn't have to choke them. I wasn't expecting to choke them. Worked up a sweat yet? We just can't see it now because you got the gi on. Oh, the forehead. <laughs> what? Huh? Hmm? So now we get to choke each other. Yay! Um, so this is one of the most effective chokes in jiu-jitsu. Uh, it's a very commonly used choke as well. So we're using, we're using our arms here for this choke. So ideally for a rear naked choke, step one is I wanna get my arm all the way across Jeremy's neck and obviously under the chin. What I try to do is have the bend of my elbow just under Jeremy's chin here. So as opposed to my forearm going across Jeremy's throat here across the windpipe where it's more painful than anything. It's still I wanna, Yeah, I want to get the <laughs> bend of my arm sort of with the, bit, the, the V of his neck. So my elbow directly below. <laughs> the All right. So the next, the next step is I've got to get this arm, this other arm involved. I'm going to take my left hand and, and at the basic level and the easiest way to remember this is I can stick my arm out and grab my own bicep. All right, so just stick my arm out and grab my own bicep. Now, I'm going to bend my arm and try to tuck my hand behind Jeremy's head. Mm -hmm. Here it should already feel a little tight. A little bit. So now, I'm going to use my body and my arms to squeeze until <laughs> Jeremy gets up. So, stick my left arm out, grab my own bicep, and I'll pull my hand behind Jeremy's head. This is the beginning of the end of the choke. Mm -hmm. so now, yes, it is the beginning of the end of everything. So now I'm just gonna squeeze my arms together mm -hmm. and sort of pull his body into my chest. Here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Until he's out. Can you not hear the <laughs> <laughs> What we're doing is we're, we're constricting the blood flow these to the two, brain. These two main arteries, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. These two arteries to the brain. So a lot of people think he's choking him, he's out of breath. That's not the case. Uh, you're just he's, cutting off the blood flow. And he's he has going no to sleep. No blood in the brain. <laughs> um, so that's that's why. That's why people go to sleep. You know, it looks like one of those family photos. You know, right, where we're like brothers like, and we're best friends. <laughs> 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 Except like, for oh, one, okay. one brother's Two asleep. Brothers, yeah. <laughs> one brother's asleep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give Jeremy a side control position. It's 
pretty good position for him. <laughs> at, at, at the exact moment that I have it. Other than that, it's all, it's all going from there. It can be a dangerous position for me if I'm not careful. But that's also in the hands of someone who knows how to work said position. This is Obviously. true. This is true. All right. You have passed my guard. You have secured. Wow. You have secured. So you're always telling me. So I, oh, yeah. Just yeah, stay low. That's good. So I don't even know where I would start from here. All right. So we would just. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. Um, I'm just going to try to do my thing and try to do it. Oh boy. The only thing I know how to do from right here is, is, is this. <laughs> I didn't terrible, right? <laughs> no. All right, babe. She up for the challenge. You want to try? He was gentle. <laughs> he was. <laughs> well, that's the name of the game, well, right? Yeah, it's j j j gentle jitsu, baby. All right. <laughs> well, we're one down. You're the, you're uh, you have to take the lead. Uh, As usual, axe throwing and anything else we do. <laughs> well, I, I can't promise any greatness here. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah, that's a Right. So right now you're going. What do I do now? <laughs> Good job, babe. How you feel? Disheveled. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Good. I'm a sweaty mess, but I always sweat like crazy. Okay, guys. That was a lot of fun. It was. Super tiring. Well, at least for us noobs. <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't realize how much less strength it took, the more body movement and mm -hmm. Just being aware, situational awareness, if you will. Yeah. Huh? My glasses are getting super foggy because of how <laughs> hot and sweaty I am. Um, what'd you think, babe? I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean, it's, I, I say fun. I, I enjoy doing anything physical and mm -hmm. learning new skills. So it's a lot of fun for me. That's right. So we want to thank Scott, definitely. We want to thank Jimmo for letting us borrow the place. Scott, tell us about the place. Yeah, so uh, we're uh, Jim here in Lowell. Uh, well, actually, Gastonia, North Carolina. You could call it Lowell if you wanted to. Two three one one Lowell Avenue, Gastonia, North Carolina. Um, so we offer adult classes uh, and kids classes, um, jujitsu, as well as uh, some kickboxing, martial arts training. Um, we have some amateur fighters and pro fighters training at the gym. Um, but come on by, say hello, and then uh, let's introduce you to something new maybe you've never tried before. And speaking of amateurs. Oh, that's us. Got two uh, of them that's here. right. We, we enjoy trying new things. And if yep. you know cool things we can do or things we should try, definitely let us know in the yep. comments below. And if you want to see Scott some more, let us know about that. That's too. right. Yeah, we, we, we may we may be, be cooking up a little something something in another we video. We talk him into it. With Mr. Scott over here. That's how I move the camera now. Um, <laughs> so. I'll try to move well, it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, we discovered we can do a little jujitsu. That's right. So if you want to do a whole lot of jujitsu, mm -hmm. maybe you should check them out. Mm -hmm. And if you can, that means you can, can do, do all, all things. things. Boy, she's on point with those. Get it, babe. Get it. Huh. What about the last one? Huh? What about the last one? He's too scared.